Hey guys, in this video I will be removing and replacing the spark plugs on my 2016 Dodge Challenger 392 Hemi Scat Pack Shaker. There are 16 spark plugs, 2 per cylinder, and I will be putting in new NGK Laser Platinums. I have already gone ahead and disconnected and isolated the negative battery cable. I have removed 4 nuts using a 10mm socket so we can pop the shaker and scoop off. These are the same steps you would take to get to the oil filler cap during an oil change. Now we're going to use that same 10 mil socket to remove the 5 bolts on the base plate. Now that I have all the bolts removed, I am now going to remove the base plate. I'm holding the camera in my other hand, so it's kind of tricky. I have a shaker riser kit from Scalian Motorsport. If you're wondering what these spacers are, now I'm going to remove the spacers. They are magnetic, which is why they're snapping together. Next, I'm going to remove the engine cover on the passenger side. I'm going to start off with the passenger side since it is more accessible. Now I'm going to disconnect the electrical connection to the coil pack. I slid the red locking clip up and used a screwdriver to push in the tab. There are two bolts on each coil pack which need to be removed. Next, I pulled out the coil pack and here's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go in with the compressed air. This is what the first spark plug I pulled out looks like. I'm now going to pull the second one out of this cylinder, which is cylinder 2. I did label each spark plug to the corresponding cylinder just in case for future analysis if needed. Now I will be installing the new spark plugs, but each spark plug should be gapped to 0.043 inches. I gapped all 16 spark plugs to spec. To avoid cross setting, start the spark plugs by hand. On the driver's side, the cold air intake needs to be removed. Here I am using a flat head screwdriver to loosen the hose clamp. I've disconnected the coil packs here. Now I'm removing the air box and filter and removing and replacing the spark plugs on cylinders 1, 3, 5, and 7. And I'm now pretty much done. It is a fairly simple job to do, but it is quite tedious with 16 spark plugs.